This video gives you the testosterone replacement therapy mistakes you should avoid. This is the top 10 TRT mistakes. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Before we start, one quick note. I recently started a Facebook group called TRT and Hormone Optimization Therapy HOT. A lot of colleague doctors and famous fitness industry people are in there already, like Keith Nichols, Jim Meehan, Jim Brown, Scott Howell, Daniel Kelly and many more. If you like the topic of this video, I am sure you will like the info and discussions going on in this group. So please join and let's learn from each other. On number 1. Doing it all on your own. Thinking you can learn enough from YouTube, from the forums and next ordering illegal stuff without seeing an experienced doctor. Some order SARMs instead of testosterone or just use plain testosterone boosters. If you wonder what the take is of Dr. Keith Nichols and myself on SARMs instead of TRT and on testosterone boosting supplements, go and check out the videos that I will link under the video. On number 2. Starting hormone optimization therapy with a doctor uneducated on the matter. Most doctors can prescribe hormones and some may be willing to do so without any experience or education. Watch out for the typical testosterone clinics or anti-aging clinics. Number 3. Starting multiple chemicals at once. If you have low T symptoms, start out with testosterone replacement only. Get the delivery method that works best for you and get your levels up in whatever range it takes to get full symptom resolution. After 4 to 8 weeks measure your levels, see how you feel and then adapt TRT dosages if needed. Only when your testosterone has been balanced one can start thinking about the need to optimize other hormones such as DHEA, pregnenolone, melatonin and others. In other words change one parameter at a time. If you want to hear the take of Dr. Keith Nichols and myself on delivery methods and on pregnenolone and DHEA on TRT, the link will be under this video as well. Number 4. Not paying attention to your diet. If you want to build more muscle, lose some fat or just be healthier and feel great and optimized, start paying attention to what you put in your mouth. I am a big believer in flexible dieting and being able to fit everything into your calories and macros. That works fine for body composition, but for optimal health, food quality really matters. Avoid alcohol, sugars and processed food in general. Eat a lot of protein and get all your vitamins and minerals. Hey, if you are enjoying this list so far, make sure to share this video among those that could benefit from it. Thank you for that. Number 5. Not paying attention to your workouts. If you want to build muscle, you have to perform some kind of resistance training. Putting active metabolic muscle tissue on your frame will help burn calories and lose fat as well. Number 6. Not paying attention to your sleep. I cannot emphasize sleep quality enough and how this plays a major role in your hormonal balance. Number 7. It should sound logic that if you want to optimize your hormones, drugs that lower your testosterone should be avoided. In my daily practice I get people in taking antidepressants specifically SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, statins, simetidin to treat gastroesophageal reflux or stomach ulcers, spironolactone, aldactone to treat high blood pressure, opioids as pain relievers and many more. All these drugs are known to lower T levels and most of them can simply be eliminated if one is willing to change daily habits, improve sleep quality and nutrition. Number 8. Chasing numbers instead of symptoms. How many times have I heard people discuss what their ideal T level should be? Whether a total T of 1700 is supraphysiological and abuse or just plain optimal if one wants to be healthy and without low T symptoms. The goal of TRT is alleviation of all low T symptoms. Number 9. Taking an AI because you think you need one. On the forums, as well as on YouTube, we've already heard endless discussion about the need for an aromatase inhibitor while being on TRT. 
Nowadays, bottom line seems to be that oestrogen is not an unwanted hormone and that blocking it even may cause more harm than not blocking it. High oestrogen levels, numbers again, are no problem when a man on TRT is asymptomatic. Number 10. Thinking TRT will change everything without having to put in any effort yourself. Higher, more optimal levels of testosterone will help lose fat and build muscle more easily, will help you feel and perform better, will increase libido and many more hidden health benefits like bone and cardiovascular health if you are willing to put in the effort to make it work for you. Well, that was it guys. If you haven't already watched it, make sure to click on this video next to hear about the stupidest things doctors have said about TRT.